Snakes class, hello. We are gonna start with some review kata. I would love to start with Nahanchi Shodan to get started. Eventually we are gonna get into some strategies. I'm sure that you see that chair right there. I'm gonna explain that when we get there. But first one we're gonna review is gonna be Pinan Shodan. This one can kind of trip people up sometimes. So let's get Pinan Shodan, right? And step out your ready stance. Look to your left. Well, block one, punch two, turn one, fist hammer, punch. Look, low block one, pop it up, upper block two, don't fall off your mat, three, four, hit, and turn low block punch, make it a one, two, now that we're more advanced. So I turn one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, hit. And the same thing with the chops, I wanna make them a one, two. So I turn, one, two, and three, four. Step back, ready, stance. Kill skate. Great. Next one, while I fix my mat, because it flipped apart a little bit, is gonna be the Pinan Sandan. Let's see if we can do it. Pinan Sandan. Great. Your. Remember, look to your left. Mine's over here, yours is probably over there. Look, inside block one. Feet together, two, three. Turn, inside block one, two, three. Look to the front, up mid block one. Step forward, spear hand two. Twist back and pose. Take the hand, tuck it behind the back. Turn over your left shoulder, spin. Back fist one, and push, GI. Left foot comes up, slow, pose to the back. Focus on keeping your belt back forward on all of these kicks. Front kick one, down, block, two, three. Reach on top, stretch out slow. Step over, grab, punch. Step up and over, spin, use this hand to elbow, turn, one, and key out. Hey. Ready, stance. Kiltske. Great. Cool. All right, let's do one more. I would love to review Pinan Yandan. Last one for the review. Pinan Yandan. Right? Step out. Ooh. Open, safe, long back stance, and shift, other way to back stance, left foot steps in, X block one, augmented block two, come up slow, look, side kick elbow, other way to, side kick elbow, stay to the front, Twist in and chop. Front kick, back fist, key out. Hey! Look over your left shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Step out one. Back stance. And starting with your back leg, it's going to be kick, punch, punch. Ready? Go. Right leg pulls back. Right foot steps out. Pose. Back stance. And it's going to be kick, punch, punch. So in here. Now three augmented blocks to the back. Step in back stance. One, two, three. And then you gotta step back a little bit. Shift back. Cat stance. Forward and grab. Knee and ki Hip. Touch. Chop. Step forward. Chop. Step up. Ready stance. Kill skate. Break. Alrighty. So that's our review. Again, practice that. We're gonna get into some strategies now. And what I'd like to concentrate on is if you don't have a partner at all. So we're gonna review the strategies first and then I'm gonna show you how I practice them at home even though I don't have a partner. So I'm in my sparring stance. First one, we're gonna work on the angle attacks. So again, if you notice, my foot is behind this line right here. Not only do I have to move on an angle, but I have to make sure when I'm attacking, I'm going forward on an angle. So I'm gonna use back fist reverse punch as my angle attack. So I'm bouncing, I'm bouncing, I come in, just like that. 
One more time. Come in like that. Next one I'll do, I'm gonna go the opposite way and I'm gonna use, hmm, let's find out. So I move in, I come in, bam! Again, from behind my line, I come in, bam! Like that. So, question is, how are we gonna practice that without a partner? How do you, you know, how do you find that moment to make sure that you're surprised, you're waiting for that exact moment? So what I did is I recorded myself counting to 10 in Japanese. So what I do is I, I kind of spliced it up while I was counting on my video. That way I would have to like listen and wait for the moment to attack. So I'm gonna try that out, make sure I'm on full volume. So you can use a phone, you can use your own camera, whatever you got, but we all got something, right? So. use the rest of that in a moment but that, that's a way of practice it at home right you don't need a person you just need to visualize you need to focus you need to find ways around all this stuff next one is going to be angle counter so when you counter you can go on all four angles so just to give you a couple of ideas I can move to the back right angle I can move to my back left angle I can move forward with our favorite at least it's mine. I can move the other way with a favorite. Let's use a video. Let's see if we can have some fun. I'll reset it. Here we go. I'm going to stop counting now. See you later. <laughs>